Hi, this is Jeff from Command Performance AV. Today we're in our Falls Church Experience Center. Uh, and this bad boy right here, this little thing, is the Griffin Apex Amplifier. We've had this on order for a while. We somehow shoehorned it into the room. And what we're going to show today is taking this thing out of the box, hopefully without injuring ourselves. We're going to slide it onto the Griffin Custom Stand and show you how this thing looks. Um, it's just so imposing and so daunting and we're just really excited to see this thing. So this, uh, according to the packing label, is 265 kilograms and Griffin has put a lot of effort into supposedly making this easy to unpack. And we're gonna find out and see if two people, worst case scenario, three people can disassemble the crate move the amplifier onto its stand without hurting the amplifier or ourselves. So let's get to it. Today, uh, for our first time in one of our videos, we're joined by Bob, uh, one of the Command Performance employees, and we're gonna do the first step of uh, unboxing, which um, what we have is the wood box with clip locks on it. So these are quick release. We're gonna disassemble the outer crate, and that will give us access to the uh, innards. So let's, let's do it, Bob. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the cover. Home here to protect the contents inside. Then underneath is the, the goodies. Um, feet. Uh, owner's manual. Setup guides. Um, included, which makes this amplifier such a great value are two of the top of the line power cords. Um, and then we have our accessory box here as well. So um, for what we're doing today, we're gonna slide this, use the feet that are built into the amplifier and put it on their stand so we don't need any of the, those accessories, but we'll take the power cords out. So the amplifier takes uh, two power cords. It's a true dual mono. And in this case, it's 220 amp power cords. And this is the top of the line Vanta power cord that comes with it. So we'll just set these aside for the moment. And then Bob, let's take off the uh, top layer of foam here. We can set that aside. So Jesse, if you wanna come over at the top here, what we can see is we have the amplifier and it's nice little wrap here. Um, we got foam on all the sides. Kind of unique if we step over to this side here is if you're not using one of their stands and you're gonna go directly on the floor, built into this is a ramp. So you can glide the amplifier onto the ramp. We will not be needing that since we're gonna go onto the stand and show really the coolest aspect of setting this up. So the next thing we can do is I'm just gonna pull out this center piece here. And we'll set this aside. And now what we'll do is we'll start breaking down the sides of the box. We'll see here the classic V shape that uh, is indicative of all the Griffin products, common industrial design. One thing that's critical as we get to this, um, and um, you can tell where the label is, is you wanna make sure that the front part of the amplifier is facing out. If not, you're gonna be putting it on the wrong way and you have to spin it around, but just make sure the front of the amplifier is facing forward. Uh, we got this little piece here. Again, we're not gonna use it, but it's part of the ramp. Okay, so we have our amplifier here uh, with our cover on it. The base is, is, is set here. And just quickly, if you wanna come around to the side, Jesse, and we'll show what we've done is, this is the Griffin stand. Each of their stands is built for the specific amplifier. And even with four legs because of the construction, 
it will hold a 450 pound amplifier. So what we're gonna to need to do is take this amplifier and put it over here. And what we're gonna show you is there's a really clever way of doing this. And if the marketing material is correct, it should be a piece of cake to move this really heavy piece of iron. Before we move the amplifier, one thing we wanna make sure of is as we're sliding it on, we don't separate the stand from the box. So what Griffin has included is a strap that will go around and underneath the amplifier and clip in over here. Get nice snug and we're up nice and tight here, but up against the, the wood. Now comes the really cool part about uh, this amplifier. Underneath this amplifier is a special type of, I'm gonna call it a plastic of some sort, some sort of polymer that comes on a roll, super low coefficient of friction. So we're gonna take this, run it along the length of the stand. This theoretically will not rip. It is very, very smooth. So then we push the amplifier, we're not, it's just gonna slide right across this piece. And just so we can tell where the feet are, I think a good thing to do now, Bob, is let's take the cover off for the unveiling. Whoa. And let's take a look at the back here while you're behind, Jesse. What do we got? We have some pretty nice looking uh, connectors here, five-way binding posts. So bananas, you can do your spades. I don't think anyone's doing bare wire at this price point. Um, notice it's only balanced inputs, truly balanced design end to end. Here we have fuses for each of the 20 amp uh, inputs. We have the uh, green bias control, and we can talk about this, I think, more talk on that in our commander video, but that's what keeps the amplifier always in class A, but the lowest power output necessary to keep your room cool and not suck us up as much power triggers, and a ground. And notice each side does have a power switch. So let's look at the beauty that is the top. Oh my God. This, uh, I gotta say, I've never seen anything quite like this. <laughs> that is more heat sink than I've had in a room at any given point in time. But noticing it, what's really nice is opposed to a lot of other amplifiers. No blood, I did not cut my hand. Nice uh, inlaid piece of metal Griffin here, very sexy. The front panel does have the Griffin V, uh, keeps the industrial design. And when we turn it on, you'll see the uh, control functions through the front of the amplifier. But this, uh, we're ready to move the beast. All right, Bob, let's try sliding this back here. Oh, this is, this is really crazy easy. Actually, look, Ma, no hands. That is just Bob. Oop, we came off our little footer. That's, we can keep on coming back until we're on this and we can just slide that on. And there we go, we're on. We just moved. A 450 pound amplifier, 90% Bob, and I was just uh, there for support, just to make sure the feet didn't come off. Bob, how do you feel? That is truly amazing. <laughs> so Bob, have you ever moved anything even half this size that easily? That's silent Bob for you. All right, so now the really the final step is, and this is where you really need to be careful of your fingers, we do need to get the green back on there to repackage the unit. So we're gonna lift each side up slowly, pull a bit of the green back, then roll it back together, and unhook the safety belt. All right, we're ready to turn this on because it's a dual mono amp. We're gonna dual mono power it. And something in there. <laughs> this is our helper, this is Boo Boo. Right, Boots? You're a good helper? Yeah, you're a good helper. So we do have the on light here. So let's see if we uh, create a black hole or it just turns on. 
through. All right, the first set of lights are coming on. It's going through its diagnostics. Checking phase, that there's enough power coming through the wall to, to juice it up. And when it's done, all those lights will stop blinking. Good to go. This baby is ready to get a little more break in time. They do break in at the factory, but um, I'm gonna give it some more. And uh, we'll report back how it sounds. We do have the commander here behind it. So we do have the full reference stack here. And uh, we're just, for me, you can tell it's thrilled. If you see my other videos, it's about as excited as I get. So anyways, thank you for watching the video. Yeah, if you like us, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, uh, encourage us to do more of these. Anyways, thank you so much for watching.